One of the most recent examples of the owner's illegal discrimination occurred this past December when he sent a mass uh, marketing email to his customers that promoted its service by saying, you'll ride with, quote, passengers like you, unquote, and noting that, quote, you won't feel like you're in China when you're on our buses, unquote. In response, I launched an investigation and uncovered rampant and equally egregious examples of the owner's illegal conduct. Since we don't have time to go through every example, I will detail some of the worst practices by the owner of Suburban Express. In his advertisements, the owner of Suburban Express repeatedly touts an experience of riding with people, quote, exactly like you, unquote, and passengers who, quote, look like you and are like you in many respects, unquote. The owner of Suburban Express also attacks customers because of their race or national origin after they write negative reviews of the company online. In one instance, the owner of Suburban Express called the customer, quote, a pushy little Chinese international student with a fragile ego, unquote, who is, quote, having trouble coping with the USA, unquote, and should, quote, go back to your country and stay there, unquote. He told another customer to, quote, bone up on your English a little so that you don't have more problems like this here in my country, unquote. This is explicit race-based discrimination that, in addition to being unacceptable, is also illegal. You know, when we see these circumstances, somebody makes a complaint to us, we look to determine, was this just a one-off? This is not a one-off. This is a serious history, uh, years long, of continued, repeated violations of our civil rights laws and our consumer protection laws. And so that's why we're taking action.